Okay team, uh, we're looking at expanding brackets today. So for this first one, I'm going to leave that first bracket and I'm just going to expand the these two brackets here. So x squared minus 4x uh, positive 3 at the end there. Now at this point, um, we've got this 2x and we times it by that one, by that one, and by that one. And then we can take uh, this one here, the minus 5, and times by that times it by that, and times it by that, and that should give us our um, answer. So let's do that. So we get uh, 2x cubed minus 8x squared plus 6x, and now we do the pink arrows, so minus 5x squared plus 20x uh, minus 15. Now we add all of that together, so we gather our like terms. So we've got the 2x Oh, sorry, that should have been 2x cubed up here. Sorry, I made a mistake there. 2x cubed. Uh, then we gather our x squared terms. Uh, so it should be minus 13x squared. Then we gather our x to the power of 1 terms. So we guess plus uh, 26. Uh, is that right? 6x. Uh, and then minus 15 at the end there. Okay, I think that's fine. Now, the next one, uh, this time, we are told that uh, we can, uh, we can, it's the 3x cubed uh, minus 21x squared plus 21x plus 45 is equal to this uh, factorized version here. And we've got to find the values of a and b. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to expand uh, these two brackets here, okay? So, I'll have a into x squared, uh, oh, minus 2x, isn't it? Minus 2x minus 3, and then I've got that last bracket, the x plus b. And now I'm going to expand again, so um, I'll get x cubed, so I'll do that one times that one, and then this one times this one. Um, so I'll get uh, plus x squared b minus 2x squared, minus 2bx, uh, uh, minus 3x, minus 3b. Okay, now, uh, let's gather our like terms. So I've got an x cubed term, and then I've got um, x squared into b minus 2. That's that bit there. And then I've got plus x into minus 2b minus 3, and then I've got minus 3b. So I've just been factorizing those. Now let's have a look at the original equation here. Notice that there's a 3 in front of the x squared. That tells us straight away that our a should be equal to 3. Okay. And the last thing is that this value here, the 45, uh, doesn't have any x with it, right? So we can ignore straight away, uh, that's an x, that's got an x in it, that's got an x. So we can ignore those terms. We're going to take this term here and this. We know that a multiplied by minus 3b should be equal to that 45. Now I know that a is 3, minus 3b equals 45, which means minus 9b is equal to 45, which means that b should, whoops, uh, b should be equal to uh, negative 5. I think B should be equal to negative 5, and that would be how I would do that question. Alright, hope that makes sense guys. Take care.